In the meantime, the central bank governor, Godwin Imefiele, has also reacted to Governor Obaseki's claim about the alleged printing of 60 billion naira. The CBN governor says the bank is rather getting set to go after the state government who have refused to pay back monies they borrowed between 2015 and 2016. 2015, 2016, the kind of situations we find ourselves now, which is even worse than what we faced in 2015, 2016, we did provide budget support facility for the, all the states of this country. That loan remains unpaid till now, and we are going to insist on the states paying back those monies going forward. Since they are accusing us of um, giving them loans, that's what effectively, that's what they're saying. And um, so um, most countries in the world today are confronted by not only health challenges coming from the pandemic of COVID and also economic crisis and the rest of them. And what I keep saying is it will be irresponsible for the Central Bank of Nigeria or any central bank or any Fed to stand idle and then refuse to support its government at this time. And what is being done, right, is being done, is being done in any crime. And at the last Monetary Policy Committee meeting, I did say, I, and I gave data about what is being done, even in developed economies, about what needs to be done to shore up their economy and take them out of recession. Nigeria is unfortunately in a very bad situation. I'm not going to pretend about it in the sense that we are facing um, problem about productivity output, which is GDP. Luckily, we managed to, to just come out of it with a hair's breadth. And we are working very hard to see how we can not only have our head above water, but get our, our, our waste above water. That is what we are focused on right now. And of course, we are also confronted by issues of inflation and prices and the rest of them. And so for us to begin to see that some people playing some games, trying to come up with heating, um, heating uh, overheating this polity, talking about printing of money, I think is very unfortunate and totally inappropriate. And I would like to advise that this should stop. We should all work for the growth of our country and not playing politics. I'm not a politician and I keep saying so. I'm a banker and I should be left to do my work. There you have it, the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godin Emefiele Day. Well, for more on this, we have been joined by Paul Alaje, an economist and a senior partner at the SP Professionals. Paul, thank you so much for being here. And of course, uh, let's start with your reaction to the Governor of the Central Bank. You know, after that weighty allegation by the Governor of Edo State saying that extra 60 billion was printed to actually, you know, get the states to stay afloat. And now you've heard him. He's not denying it, but he's not admitting it either. Your reaction to the Governor of the Central Bank? Well, um, when a central banker, particularly the band that takes the top decision, um, it has explained the economy background of how decisions are made. So first, um, when central bank, uh, central bank creates money virtually all the time, most of the time. So and printing money does not mean you are going to a printing press to print money. You create money. In fact, commercial bank also creates money, but that is theoretical. But to look at the application of it, the worry here is that we are not generating sufficiently what we need to spend, particularly what needs to be shared. So what should we do? We have options. Either we borrow, and borrowing could be in form of foreign loan or borrowing locally, which will come in form of treasury bill and bond. When people are not now willing to invest, then that is a major problem beyond printing. That is when authorities will now have to revert to central bank to collect loans, which is, in a way, technically speaking, printing money. That is why central bank will not say no, that we did not print money. To so somebody who is fiscal authority, they deal with cash, money they can see. They may not understand it. So I don't blame Finance or Finance if he says we are not printing money, because it's actually technical. So it is printing money, even though you, are not, you have not gone to the press to print it's money. Printing. But in economics, what we have done is printing money. So, okay. so our central bank is saying yes, because perhaps government may run out of option in terms of financing, which is short term finance, we have to share money uh, for state at FAC and they need some fund. So central bank says we have borrowed this money to you. Somebody who understands economic fundamentals will know that technically speaking, you have just done a part of what we call quantitative easing. So you have technically printed money. Okay, so <laughs> if we want to uh, quantitative uh, easing. easing, okay, <laughs> now I learned a new one. So just before we, uh, we take a short break then, would it be said that 
MFLA is right, or was it Obaseki that is right? I think or both, both MFLA right? and Obaseki are right. Governor Obaseki, what he's saying is correct. What Governor MFLA have said is also correct. It's correct because he has remained tactical and professional in his response to say um, all central banks are printing money. Our government have issues. We have come to Spons intervene by lending technically to government. But where did you get your own money from? Because if it's government money, why are you lending my money back to me? So that now tells you that okay. is lending money you know what uh, Paul Alaje you're still with us because we'll have this conversation and looking at the implication of this especially looking at how inflation rate has just skyrocketed in the last month but of course right now let's head for this quick break when we return Paul Alaje rejoins us here on news night to continue the conversation Okay, you're still watching News Night, and um, here we still have uh, Paul Alaje with us uh, to continue the conversation we had earlier. He's an economist and senior partner at SBM Professionals. So, uh, help us understand when the conversation we had earlier was quite clear, and you said it's 50-50, uh, both the CBN governor 100, is right. 100, 100. Oh, 100, 100. <laughs> because <laughs> they're both Obama fully Obama right. Is completely correct, mm -hmm. and Central Bank governor for taking the decision to uh, give loan to give to support government through quantitative easing through printing which is um, the technical well, Paul, what is the implication of this really yes. because beyond the printing the of question. this money let's talk about the fact that inflation rates that was just released by the Bureau of Statistics today shows that our inflation is pushing towards the 20% mark it's over 18% as it is and food inflation is pushing towards 25% okay printing more money into the economy does this help the regular Nigerian who's struggling Don't call right it now to even printing feed? more money call it quantitative Easing. Okay, whatever it's yes. called. I'm looking at the Nigerian who's out there who's struggling to even afford to buy an egg. In okay, the so you see, you cannot use monetary solutions to solve structural problems. Yeah. We have fundamental, we have structural problems, and we can only use structural solutions to solve them. Insecurity is at its peak. The more insecurity becomes ubiquitous within our country, the more unemployment, inflation, poverty, hunger also increase. So inflation, as I speak, is inching towards 20%. Expect not less than 20% inflation by June. Also, in, expect more or less than 25% uh, 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 food inflation uh, by June. Also, unemployment, if nothing is done, the way unemployment is going, you might be looking at 35 40%. And underemployment may also grow from 25 22%. What it means is all major parameters, macroeconomic parameters, are going south. So what do we need to do? Uh, if, you, if you imprint more money, it's, it's going to induce money supply. Money supply will mean inflation also increasing. Mark you, this is just a monetary factor. You have non-monetary factor, which has fiscal driven, which are government driven, which is insecurity from Benway to Abuja, a part, uh, maybe Gogolada, what we have seen uh, report to Nasarawa 40 has just been arrested. Kidnapped Pass, that is the profession to Niger to to uh, to uh, Kaduna, you know, etc. etc. That we have seen it means more people will not be able to go to farm. Government is having a new plan which he also induce inflation further. What is it? Remove subsidy as much so, as removing subsidy is good that Governor Basaki even acknowledged. But you see, we don't solve our problem holistically, and I will tell you why. When you use economic theory without applied economics, you are like that man who wants to clap with one hand and hear the sound. It's not going to work. You need to table all the figures, not quick fixes. You are not going to solve solution by looking at one part of it because if you want to grow your economy, something is certain. You are going to have high inflation because it's a trade-off. So, so, but it's dangerous when you are having high inflation and you are having unemployment, then you have what we call stagflation. You have what we call increase in poverty, but, I mean, a slower economic growth rate. Even when you have positive growth, economists call it jobless growth and unfortunately uh, well we have to end the conversation unfortunately because we would have loved to find out what's the continuity of this policy of the government whether it's going to create any change but we don't have enough time to discuss that we'll discuss that another time thank you very much Paul Alaje thank you so very much thank you